Hey guys, Josh up here with another Why Not Jungle video. In this series, we take a look at the less popular or off the meta junglers and just talk a little bit about them. This isn't just a video series for my insane theory crafted ramblings, I promise you I am perfectly sane. Or am I? And today we're going to take a look at Renekton jungle. Don't forget to stick around to the end for information on how you can participate and influence which jungle champion I feature next. So let's get started. Firstly, what are three pros for playing as Renekton jungle? Firstly, Renekton has some pretty good games with his gap closer and a fairly solid stun on his W when he has his rage active. Next he has very decent teamfight presence particularly when he has his ultimate up. He's very hard to kill and actually does a huge amount of damage to enemy squishies even when building full tank. And lastly Renekton is resources which means he can spam his abilities as much as he wants to clear through that jungle and not to be working inefficiently by running out of mana. So what are some negatives of playing Renekton jungle? Well firstly his clearing is pretty bad mostly due to his very high cooldowns in the early game. As far as off meta junglers are concerned, his clearing is actually not all that bad, but compared to the popular junglers, the good junglers, he does leave a bit to be desired. On the other hand, however, Cinderhawk means that as soon as you get that item, your clear speeds really aren't a problem anymore. Next, his dueling is pretty poor pre-6 compared to the bruisers. He also doesn't have enough power himself to threaten the tanks in duels either. And lastly, whereas his ultimate gives him very good team fighting power, it doesn't significantly help his ganking or really make it any better in any major way. This means that in comparison to the other junglers, once they get their ultimate, he often falls off in power when it comes to that ganking. So now we've talked about the pros and cons, I want to give you my overall thoughts on Renekton jungle. Renekton is one of those junglers who always gets mentioned when people are theory crafting good potential hidden gems in the jungle. On paper there is good reason for this, Renekton really does have it all. He's got sustain, AoE, resourcelessness, an auto attack reset, a gap closer and a stun for ganking, however in practice he's really not as powerful. This comes mostly down to the fact that all the aforementioned benefits are either very small time or they're conditional or he just has too high cooldowns. For example, the sustain from Renekton's Q is pretty pitiful by itself and only okay when he has Fury. Again, his stun is crap without Fury and it's hard to maintain a decent level of that without it deteriorating as you go to gank. His E again is only really useful when used in minions, which is situational to say the least. It is however good for staying on top of your opponent, but of course you've got to get on him first for you to stay on top of him. And lastly, like I mentioned, there's the fact that all of his abilities have very large cooldowns early, which really do limit their use in the jungle. Aside from that, Renekton jungle definitely works. As far as it goes, he's pretty good at it too. He follows that jungle archetype quite nicely, being tanky and effective without a massive item thanks mostly to his fury concept and his ultimate. His threat in teamfights is fairly significant and whereas he can't initiate particularly well like a Sejuani could and he's not as disruptive as others like a Gragas, he still has pretty high kill potential on squishies and his overall damage output is pretty scary. And let's not forget that it's rumoured that Gangplank is next in line for an update which means we'll be seeing a lot more Gangplank players and the big bad croc definitely has an advantage over pirates. So overall, do I think that you should pick up Renekton Jungle for your solo queue games? Well, to be honest, not really, but if you were going to be picking a weird jungler, Renekton definitely would sort you out. For those of you looking for more information on how to play that Renekton jungle, I'm going to bring up this graphic on the screen now to give you some more information. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to influence which champion we feature next in our Why Not Jungle videos, then all you've got to do is head over to Twitter and tweet at me, at FoxDropLol, using the hashtag Why Not. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments under the video as well, however, do know it's a lot easier for me to manage them using the hashtags on Twitter. So now that's out of the way, all that's left to say is I hope you enjoyed that video. If if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think about these kind of videos if you want to see more of them you can find me on facebook on twitter and catch me streaming on twitch as well all of those links are in the description guys but most importantly thank you so much for watching have a great day and i will see you in my next video